South Dakota voters will decide on whether to allow the state to add work requirements for able-minded and able-bodied recipients of Medicaid when they go to the polls in November. That's after South Dakota legislators passed a resolution this year to put that proposed constitutional amendment on the ballot. Republican Representative Tony Benheisen of Sioux Falls said their proposed amendment would allow the state to consider a work requirement concerning Medicaid expansion. While the amendment would still need federal approval, would have to go through the legislative process. Benheisen says state government would just be removing the work prohibition against work requirements from the state constitution. We would be able to have exceptions for people with disabilities, people who are sick, you know, people who are undergoing cancer treatment, uh, mothers of young children, but this is just about making sure that people who can take care of themselves and who are able to work are incentivized to do that. Ben Heisen also stated that social programs are a lift up during tough times and should not be a way of life. The amendment was passed by both the state Senate and House 28 to 4 and 63 to 7 respectively, with the only opposing votes coming from Democratic representatives and senators. The amendment will be on the November 5th general election ballot.